In this movie, I want to cover how to create one of these drawings. It's called a roof framing plan. Unfortunately, I spelt the name wrong, but never mind about that. Let's look at the important features. If we zoom in, you'll notice the important features here are that we have the roof framing shown in a very solid or very heavy line, and in a very light line underneath, we have our walls shown below. The windows don't show any detail, but one of the things we do need to do with a roof framing plan is to show the structure that is supporting our roof framing so that the contractor knows where beams and columns and things like that should go. So that's what we're trying to do. Here's the file I want to work with. You'll notice that I've got uh, framing, I've got roof framing here, I've got a roof, I've got my roof framing. And if we have a look at the detail of this roof framing, which we can do up here, You'll notice that I've got a symbol line here, which is, uh, I'm going to choose a pen number 21 for that. I want to really override my object's pens. When I do that, you'll see that that pen there, that this roof framing here, has actually changed color relative to the one next door. Now, it might be difficult to select all of your roof framing like that, but I did actually build this roof framing with the roof wizard. If I turn off my suspend groups, and I select that. You can see it selects all of them. Now I can go through here and I can change this pen. I need to change all of them so that uh, they do exactly what I want. So that's made the change on the roof. But the other thing is when we go to the ground floor, let's go to the ground floor, you'll notice I don't see my roof information. Now I could turn on my layer combination so I see everything, but I still can't see it all. What do I need to do? Let's go back to my roof. When I select all my roof objects, or my roof framing objects, I should say, you'll notice that it selects them all. But when I go to Control T, and we have a look, this is on my roof at the moment. I've got here for my show on stories, home story only. If I show home story and one story down, when I go back to my ground floor, we should see all my roof framing. Now my walls are too heavy. I'm seeing doors and windows. I'm also seeing information I don't want to see like these dimensions. Don't forget we've got the ability to use our layer combinations. So let's try roof framing. It gets rid of a lot of information. Over here we have the ability to look at building plans, no markers, ceiling plans. But there's also this one here called site, which I quite liked because it actually turned a lot of information off for me. So find the one that you want. Uh, I'm going to try ceiling plans and see if that gives me something like I want. Here we've got the entire model. Let's try without finishes. Let's try core only. See which of those works for us. And here we've got our overrides, our graphic overrides. And there is one already set up for roof framing. When we choose it, you notice that my walls go very thin. And they are there. And we have the ability to control these. Now I've set these currently at, I've currently set these at pin number 21. So we'll have to have a look at those and see how they relate. So the next stage is to right click save as view and let's set this up as a view so i'm going to call this my roof framing plan roof framing plan i'm going to set the scale at 1 to 25 you can always set this later if you want but i know that 1 to 25 will fit here we're going to choose core only here's our pen set and i'm going to choose the site pen set just to see if that works but i will show you how to create your own pen set let's go uh, current zoom that's better and create so now all i need to do is create my layout so let's go to plans we'll create a new layout uh, it's going to be roof framing plan that's my roof framing plan you can see i keep spelling with a capital l um, and we want this to use a a3 landscape Go to my saved view. Let's drag that roof framing plan in. And there it is. Now we don't know whether it's going to print the way we want. So view on the menu bar, on screen options, true line weight. Let's try that. And you can see that there's a slight emphasis of my roof framing. Now I'm not sure which of these is going to suit us the best. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this button just here. And we're going to change our pen settings. So at the moment I'm using site. And we've used pen 21. This is the pen we've used for our roof framing. Remember that. We're going to change this to 0.5. I'm going to make it 0.5. 0.5 is probably too thick. But let's try 0.5. I'm going to store this as my roof framing 
pen set. Now the use of pen sets is really powerful because you can create a pen set for a view or a range of views, a range of layouts, so that you can emphasize some parts of the drawing and fade out or de-emphasize some other parts. It's really powerful. Let's go OK for that. Now at the moment, when we look at our layout, this is our drawing here. Let's go to our settings here and we'll look at our drawing settings. So here's our drawing settings by layout, blah, 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 100%. But it's this part here where it's going to the GA printing. And you might remember I created one called Roof Framing Pen Set. So I'm going to choose that one. Let's click OK. And we should have noticed that these lines got fatter. They should have gotten quite a bit thicker. And that's the way we control our pen set. Now, if it doesn't work, go back to your reframing plan. Just check these. Make sure they're on the correct pen, which should have been 21, just here. If you choose to a different pen like that one, and then OK, let's go back to our drawing. And you can see they got thin, so it is working. Let's just go back to our drawing, back to that ground floor or our roof. Let's select all those. Let's choose that pen 21 again. OK, so that should have gotten fatter or thicker. And we go back to our drawing, and you can see they're much thicker. So just control those pens. Make sure that you've got the right line weight. The only way to really check is to print your drawing. I have a printed copy here. So this is my PDF. This is the one I created. I'm going to print that. I'm going to check to make sure that the line weights are doing what I want before I go and confirm and do that. Don't forget, in order to publish just one drawing, we can go back here. Let's go back up to one layout. I'm going to create a new publisher set here, the plus sign, new publisher set. I'm going to call it roof framing. There it is there. Double click on it. We just want the one drawing. So I'm just going to drag the one drawing across. I don't need to worry about any of those properties. So I'm going to go back up. So there's my roof framing. I need to look at my publishing properties again. We're going to create a single drawing. Let's browse. I'll stick it on my desktop. And it's not a BIM model. It's a PDF. OK. And then you can click on the Publish button. You didn't see it was on my other screen. But there it is. It says Publishing Done. I can close that. And now I can open up that drawing. It should be called Roof Framing. And there it is there. That's the one I've just created. So just to recap, you're going to make sure that you can see the roofs on the ground floor. Otherwise, you can't get the walls to show at the same time as the framing. You're going to make sure the framing is visible on the next story down. You're going to set the pen for that. You're then going to create a save view. And you're going to assign a pen set and you're going to make sure that the wall settings are going to suit your design or your drawing. Now there's just one thing I want to check before we finish off with this. If I go back to the roof and we have a look at these objects here, these roof framing objects. Now you'll notice when I go to the top here and I go to this floor plan and section, I've actually ticked this option here to override objects pens. Just check when you're producing your drawings when you do that because it might have an effect on the way that your drawings are produced. I've checked it to get the drawing color and quantity that I want. I just check to see whether you need to do it on your particular file.